Hi, my name is Dr Nisa Lakhani and I work at the Paediatric Department at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. Today I'm going to be talking about inheritance patterns. The way traits or characteristics are passed down from generation to generation have been observed for a long time. However, in the 19th century, a monk named Gregor Mendel did several scientific studies that showed us the exact workings of how one trait is passed from a parent to a child. These were then known as Mendelian inheritance patterns. In order to explain the way this inheritance works, first we need to talk about how things are organised in our bodies. Every normal person has two copies of their genetic information, which we call genes. It's like having two copies of the same book. One of these copies is acquired from mum and the other from dad. Many genes are stored together on chromosomes, like lots of books on a bookshelf. In this case, all the genes, or books from dad, are stored on one chromosome, and all those from mum on another copy of the exact chromosome, like having two identical bookshelves with the same books on them, one from mum and one from dad. So each cell contains two copies of each chromosome, and two copies of each gene, one on one chromosome and one on the other. The exception to this rule is the sex chromosomes, that determine whether we're female or male. The paired chromosomes that are not involved in sex determination are called autosomes. Human beings have 46 chromosomes, 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes, the X and the Y. The different parts of the genes are called alleles, like chapters in a book. Therefore we have two alleles for each characteristic, one inherited from mum and one inherited from dad. Often when explaining inheritance it's easier to think of alleles as genes, like we would think of the different chapters of a book as a book as a whole. A mutation in an allele can be thought of as a misprint in one of the words in one of the sentences in one of the books, meaning that the whole sentence just doesn't make sense. So in summary, we now know that we have 22 pairs of chromosomes, or bookshelves, one of each pair from mum and one of each pair from dad. On those chromosomes there are numerous genes, like the books on the bookshelves, and each gene has a different allele which determine the different genes characteristics, like the different chapters in a book which make the entire story. Individuals that have two exact copies of the same allele, i.e. two exact copies of the same book, one from mum and one from dad, are called homozygous. Individuals with different alleles, in instances where mutations have taken place, are known as heterozygous. So mum gives you a book with a slightly different story in it than the one that dad gives you. In this case, the dilemma to which book is used to make the final product occurs. The inheritance patterns observed will depend on whether the allele is dominant or recessive. So autosomal dominant inheritance patterns. Well, we already know that from what we've discussed that we're talking about one of our 22 pairs of autosomes. The, no the dominant part of the pattern refers to which of the two different books is going to be used to make the final product. In this inheritance pattern, the diseased or mutated allele, or the misprinted book, is the dominant one, and if inherited, will cause the disease to manifest. For example, if mum has two genes, one from her mum and one from her dad, she is homozygous, all the same. Dad has two genes, one from his mum and one from his dad. He is heterozygous because one of his books reads wrong. He has a misprint or a mutation. Mum gives one of her genes to each of her children. Which gene it is, is it occurs at random. And Dad gives one of his genes to each of his children, also at random. In this case, if the child inherits, inherits a mutated gene from Dad and a normal gene from Mum, the child is heterozygous. However, will manifest the disease, as Dad's faulty gene is dominant over Mum's normal gene. The manifestation of a disease occurs around 50% of the time in a situation where only one parent has a faulty gene. Examples of autosomal dominant diseases are FAP and BRCA inherited cancers. With these examples, I'm going to briefly discuss penetrance. Penetrance means the likelihood of developing the condition if you definitely carry the gene. For example, in FAP, the penetrance is 100%, meaning that if you have a mutated FAP gene, you're going to go on to develop cancer. In BRCA inherited cancers, the penetrance is not 100%, meaning that inheriting the gene does not necessarily mean that you will lead to developing the cancer. Autosomal recessive inheritance patterns. In this inheritance pattern, the characteristics are only seen if the person carries two of the mutated genes, or both books of their books have a misprint. The mutated gene is recessive to the normal one. So if mum only has one faulty gene and dad only has one faulty gene, then neither of them will have the disease. However, if mum and dad both give their faulty gene to the same child, then the child will go on to develop the condition, as there is no normal gene to dominate over the faulty ones. In this situation, there is a 25% chance that the child will develop the condition, and a 25% chance that the child will not inherit either of the genes, but a 50% chance that they will inherit one from mum or one from dad. 
In this case, they're called carriers. So in summary, we've discussed genes, chromosomes, autosomes, homozygous and heterozygotes. And in addition, we've discussed inheritance patterns of autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at the Clinical Genetics Department on 0116 258 5736. Thank you.